What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. We are here with another shoe review. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a brand new Hoka shoe that is called the Cielo Road. Before we get too far, my name is Hella Sidibe, known as Hella Good. I've been running every day since May 15th, 2017. I ran across the United States from LA to New York City. It took 84 days, 3,061 miles. I also have done 200 mile races, one of them being level 100 last year, and the most recent was Western State 100. But, shoe time, baby. Okay, Hoka has done a sp uh, spike version of this first before we got to the road version. So the spike version was a Cielo X MD, MD standing for middle distance, and they had the LD, LD standing for long distance. So now they have the second version of them, the X2s. And this one over here has the smallest drop. It is the three millimeter drop. I'm kind of like heel to toe. I'm kind of nervous about that because all the shoes that I've been running in for Hoka has been the five millimeter heel to toe drop. So this will be the most connection I've had on the road with the Hoka running shoes since I've ever started running with Hoka, which is kind of interesting. I'm nervous, is my body gonna feel differently because I've been used to the higher shoes or not? But the cool thing about this shoe that I really love that Hoka has been stepping it up with her shoe game since introducing the Rocket X2. It is the Piba foam. You all see we got this nice soft foam and Hoka, I'm so happy that since that Rocket X2, you all been sticking with that, you add it to the Mach X and now we got it on the Cielo Road. I'm here to just first impression, first try, first run with you guys to let you know exactly how I feel and we're gonna take it easy. So let's get straight into it. Let's put this baby on. This Cielo Road, visually it looks really nice. It actually has a, a big mesh in the front. So if you all see close up, this is actually see-through. It's a bunch of little tiny holes. You can clearly see through it and it looks like a track spike from the top for sure. The material feels like a track spike and the bottom now is basically putting foam on a track spike. That's how best I can explain these shoes right here. And I will say I do love the color. It looks pretty nice, well done. And let's put it on right now. As of right now, it feels like it is true to size because the Rocket X2 when Hoka came up with that, I went from being a 10 to a, a 10 and a half. So I started getting a little nervous with all these new shoes that they're coming out with, with the Piba foam. Hoping that wasn't the case for the Piba shoes. But it was only for the Rocket X2. This one seems to be true to size. Okay, are y'all ready? Let's do it. Immediate reaction is the Piba foam. I love that you feel a huge difference with these foam when you put it on. They're just so soft and they're just so responsive they're plush you feel like hi how are you doing you feel like you can just bounce off it like a moon bounce shoe you know the piva foam is no joke they are legit so that's the feeling i get right away taking that first stride bouncing up and down i also feel the connection with the road because of the drop heel the toe we're talking about three millimeter, which is very, very small compared to what I've been used to, the five millimeter drop heel, the toe drop. So I do feel like I have something thinner on that that's making me feel more connected to the road, which is pretty nice actually. It feels good. I am currently paying attention to the sound of the shoes. It is not light at all. When I did the Mach X review, that shoe was so loud. So immediately, now, when I put other shoes on, I'm trying to pay attention to the sound. This one is fairly quiet. You can feel air, wind coming through the upper with these little tiny holes that's there. So I like that because, especially this time of the year, it's still pretty hot. It gets very steamy in your shoes. I do feel that cool air coming in, keeping those toes nice and cool. Hoka said this shoe is for top of the pack racers, VPR setters. So we're about to 
give it a try pick up our strides a little bit of our cadence push it a little bit to see how this should make you feel so if you're technically fit uh, you're fast this shoe is for you so you're always on top with the groups leading the race and you're always setting PRs according to what they say so are y'all ready? let's see what we got let's do it baby <laughs> people phone instant magic people phone baby let's see we're rolling right now 550 per mile woo, woo, woo. it's the fever foam magic really instant and speaking of that i want to talk about the the midsole there's zero place in these shoes the track versions have plates this doesn't have any plates this is just piva foam that's it wow i think the reason this works so well because this amazing foam really creates that energy when it's fighting against the ground and you're about to lift off and pushes you up there's no rocker feeling you don't feel any like getting propelled forward kind of feeling but if you do pick your leg up you feel that serious bounce hey guys hey, hey they say hi let's go uh, you do feel that that energy generating off the ground to get you going but there's no rocker feeling so i do think in order for the shoes to really be effective you have to really push it you really got to pick up your feet and pick up the cadence so you're gonna have you gotta be fit you gotta be great in a way where it'll work because with the other shoes with the plates i feel like not that you don't need to be but it helps you so much more than this shoes does it has the the bounce feel like moon bounce <laughs> it has the bounce but it doesn't have like the rocker that kind of like shifts your momentum with you taking your momentum with you carrying that energy this is as soon as you let off a little bit you lose that momentum with the plated shoes from hoka as soon as you start going that momentum gets pushed a little longer based on the rocker and the plates this one as soon as you let off a little bit it lets off as soon as you push it's there so i don't know what to make of that i think it works for those who wants to be connected to the road and who needs that little more cushioning from that foam So I was paying a little more attention to the shoes and took some time off from recording. You know the fact that I'm used to the higher stack shoes. So when I'm landing my stride, it's almost like your body, or at least for me, my legs expect me to, to hit the ground quicker than I'm anticipating. It's like, you know when you're going down the stairs, you step thinking you're gonna step down and it goes a little further down. You're like, oh, you almost lose your balance. So this shoes makes me feel like that a little bit because I'm expecting to feel the ground quicker than I am because of the shoes I've been running in from Hoka with a little bit higher stacks. So with these one, the fact that it's lower stack, you do feel more connected to the ground, but my body, it's like my mind, it's like muscle memory. It's not used to taking a little longer before I hit the ground. Whether I go a little slower, and these are race shoes, just to tell you, it's not for it to go slow, but, or when I pick up my, my pace a little bit, it's the same feeling. So. I want to share that with y'all and now let's take it home to give you my final thoughts on the Cielo Road just first time impression this can change so hella good wing always <laughs> yeah. we are back just a little nice little quick run uh, three miles so this is just first reaction first everything so uh 
take that into consideration. Maybe it gets better, maybe it gets worse, I don't know that. But as of right now, I will conclude and say that these shoes are not for me. Not because it's bad, it's whatever. I'm just not used to that lower stack. It's crazy when you run with the higher stacks, how your body adapts to that. And it can change by doing this. But also I feel like these shoes are designed for a specific kind of runner, you know? But the good news is even though these are not for me, they are comfortable. I feel like the job that they want it to do, it is gonna do that because I can feel all the things that they're saying. But the good thing is though, the reason I love Hoka and the reason saying it really well, not one shoe fits all because they have so many varieties from your walker to your first time runners to your in between to your intermediate to your advanced like to your elite there's shoes out there on this in this company that you may find that you might enjoy so that's what makes it exciting and 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 fun so even though these are not for me there's plenty that i can have and take advantage of so my impression of the cielo road ladies and gentlemen let me know what you'll think if you try it it is soft it is whatever it is everything that they're saying i can see it but uh not what i would want to use and it is a race shoes i feel like if you use this as a jog maybe workouts it might if you use it as a jog one workout maybe a workout but race shoes if you're not going fast and picking your feet up these shoes are i don't know that's my thought on it thank you so much for coming on on this video love you guys and remember to do what you love and do it to the best of your ability and also remember this specific kind this specific words that i'm, I'm, I'm saying to you all your best is different every single day. So do your best to not compare them because today's circumstances is gonna be different than tomorrow or yesterday's circumstances is gonna be different than today. So keep giving your best, y'all. Love you, see you on the next one. Let's get it, <laughs> let's go.